The American chestnut tree was more important to the development of this country than the Liberty Bell or the Bald Eagle. At one time, up to 25% of all the trees in the eastern forests were American chestnuts. It produced nuts in huge quantities that supported animals, birds, and people. The lumber was so rot resistant that it was used to build logs. In the beginning, I thought the celebrity cameos were pretty dope. I feel like anytime I see Dolly Parton, I just want to believe everything she's saying and kind of hop onto whatever wagon she's on, which is good and bad. But with something like this, I understand the need sometimes to kind of um, wrangle in people who... Uh, are able to just to have a voice, people who already have that voice and can kind of spread the news. Because um, unfortunately, some people don't listen until it's like someone who has a voice like that says it. So I think that was actually really smart um, way to kind of bring the conversation in. Um, I really did not know that breeding trees to save the population was a thing. I think I knew that you know, replanting trees that had died or like were cut down due to deforestation was a thing. But rebreeding to ensure that the trees, the new versions of the trees survive the things that the old versions did not survive was very interesting. And another reason as to why science is so freaking amazing and um, gets me really angry when people actually debunked science because it does not make sense And when amazing things like this are happening um, because there are scientists who are able to do things like that. So I thought it was pretty freaking fantastic. Um, I also really liked the take on how um, the chestnut tree has um, an effect culturally on a lot of groups. Um, the use of um, displaying how in Cherokee culture it's used and just like how important it is and whatnot and how it's good for health reasons, for community reasons, for cultural reasons, just to kind of bring people together um, was so beautiful. And sometimes people, as opposed to hearing the scientific reasonings as to why, sometimes they need to hear the human reasons as to why. And I think that was a pretty big asset of the entire piece. I found it uh, to be very interesting, uh, both a human story and an environmental story, and I thought they really did a great job of uh, blending the socioeconomic backdrop with the environmental backdrop and turning it into um, a very interesting showcase for um, numerous uh, cultures. I thought the Indian reservation sequences were very interesting, and I thought that they were really able to capture sort of several sides of the location and uh, the issue with the chestnut tree, the sort of tell a historical story about the environment and the people and the culture that I thought really was wrapped together in a way that was quite um, compelling, uh, especially if you don't know that much about it. So I thought it was um, a well-constructed piece and uh, had a, a strong sort of uh, blend between the multiple uh, approaches uh, built around the environmental conceit that really um, gave the, the piece at the, uh, a level of emotion that um, worked well. I think you do a really great job of using your resources, both educationally, but also with the societal power that using different celebrities has to promote a cause like this that wouldn't get the the same traction without it. I think it has a really great message. I think it was incredibly educational. I think you do a really great job demonstrating the issue, the the work to preserve and conserve uh, this tree population. And you make it very digestible and, and it has a very clear call to action at the end. So overall, it's a very well done documentary. Um, very influential and very powerful. You know, something that's really terrific about movies like this or documentaries like this is when I learned something for the first time I've never, never heard about at all. And I, I had no idea any of this stuff about the chestnut tree. Um, you know, the fact that it was uh, so important in the formation of our country during that time and the fact that it's so, um, you know, endangered now, you know, and, uh, you know, it's not going to be available for us to enjoy its benefits for very long if we don't, if we don't, you know, work to preserve. It was uh, really neat to see like the, the, uh, the work of the scientists, you know, they're, they're, they're talking about doing basically crash tests, like testing the, the, these, uh, young trees for blight before putting them out. And there's just, you know, seeing all these people who really care and who are putting all this work in, it was just very encouraging. And, um, you know, I, I the, the film was done so nicely, wonderfully shot, nicely, nice use of scenery, um, wonderfully the 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 the, uh, the interviews were conducted so nicely. Everybody communicated so well. This documentary was very entertaining. 
and educational at the same time. I didn't expect to have people like President Jimmy Carter in this or Dolly Parton. That really surprised me. But you could tell why this was so personal to him. And they said that this film, this tree, this American chestnut used to provide a lot of protein for people. And then it was wiped out. It's amazing that people are bringing it back. There's so such an effort to it try and restore a part of American landscape. So I think it would be great to bring this back to America, the American chestnut tree. It would be something that we need to really cultivate, but I think it would be something that's amazing to see, to have it all come back. Maybe not for my children or my children's children to, to see one day for it all to come back and that there's people so passionate about bringing it back get to learn all about the importance of chestnut trees and how they support a community and support an ecosystem. And it's a really fascinating perspective on trees, forestry, and specifically chestnut trees. Really cool.